Hi there. After this past week's episode on drum replacement, I did have a suggestion from Rob over on the Propellerhead forums, also known as Chain Style or Phi Sequence, to create a vocal removal. Um, I tinkered around with this for a bit, and after trying some different ways to accomplish it using like low pass filters or high pass filters to try to isolate frequencies, I ultimately decided that the quickest and easiest way to do this would be to use the center cancel method. And when I say center cancel, I mean this. Since vocals are usually placed dead center on most popular recordings, using center cancel or canceling out the center channel works pretty well. It's not perfect, um, but it works for most songs. You should know that any other instruments that appear in the mix that are dead center will also get removed as well. So bass guitar, maybe some guitar, drums, things like that. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in both Record and in Reason. And you can download the files that I use here using this link. The Record file is a song file and the Reason file is a combinator file, which is for Reason 4 users only. Yeah, Reason 4 only because it uses Thor to do the center cancel and I'll show you why. So let's have a look at that and see how it works and have a listen to it. All right, the first thing we're gonna need here is we're gonna need to load a song that has vocals in it. And I'm just using one of the factory demo songs that comes with Record, but feel free to use any song that you have in your library. We can achieve the center cancel by taking the left and right sides of the audio mix channel and inverting the phase on one of the channels. And in our example here, I'm going to be inverting the left channel. And then we mix that back into a mono signal. The first thing we need to do is go to the rack view by pressing F6 on the QWERTY keyboard. Now I need to create two additional mix channels and route the left direct output of the main audio track to the left mono input of one of the mix channels. And you hold down the shift key on the QWERTY keyboard so it doesn't automatically route the right channel along with it. And now route the right direct output of the main audio track in the same way to the second mix channel's left mono input, again holding down shift. Flip the rack around and press F5 on the QWERTY keyboard and go all the way to the top of the mixer. Press the INV invert phase on switch, which is right next to the gain knob, on the first mix channel, which is the left channel. And boom, center channel is gone. Easy as that. Now, depending on what song and what effects were used on the vocals in that song, you might still hear some of that vocal bleeding through with just the vocal effect wet mix. But overall, it should be substantially reduced in the final mix, and you shouldn't hear much of that vocal at all. To do this in Reason, I used the Thor synthesizer using the audio inputs and the modulation matrix to do the same inverted audio signal. And you can see that in this combinator patch here. I took audio input one and two, and routed them directly to filter three left and right input respectively. And then on audio input one, I gave it an amount of negative 100, which is an inverted amount, and on audio input two, a value of 100. Now I needed to then take those two mix outputs and sum them back into a mono feed. So I used a six by two line mixer so I could make sure that the output was summed to mono, as you can see here. Now all you need to do to use this is connect the output of any device that's playing back a sample, like a Dr. Rex loop player or an NNXT, to the input of the combinator as an insert effect, which means directly out of that device, into this combinator's inputs, and then out of the combinator's outputs back into a mixer channel. And you're gonna get the same exact result as you do in the record example that I provided earlier. Pretty cool. Short and sweet, but pretty useful tip this week. For next week, I actually have an addendum to the drum replacement tip that I covered on week eight. I did a little bit more tinkering around with that as well and found out that you actually can extract velocity from the level of the audio recorded drums. And you can even use Reason drum kit samples as the replacement samples. So tune in for that one and I'll see y'all in a week. Bye.